Hello and welcome back to another How to Bloke. Today, today we're going to make sausage rolls. Homemade sausage rolls, but curry sausage rolls. Because I, I prefer curry sausage rolls and everybody else does too. So, what do we need? We need, this is 400 grams of pork mince. This is my yieldy famous um, salad herbs I keep putting in everything that I make. Garlic powder or lazy garlic is granular, powder, dried. One egg, curry powder, that's all you need. And some uh, flaky pastry, in other words you call it puff pastry or flaky pastry. Just buy it from a supermarket, uh, ready, ready made. I don't bother to make my own, it's too much of a palaver. Right, so, here it is. Now this stuff should come with its own grease proof paper. I've never known one not to, really. So, this is an oven tray. So what we're going to do is we're going to roll this out. Now, the, there's, the, because there's so few ingredients in this thing, you've got to make sure that they're the best ingredients you can get for the money, what you can afford. So, don't buy a cheap and nasty um, uh, pastry, because you'll be able to taste this cheap and nasty. Don't buy cheap and nasty um, curry powder because they're the same and, and the, the, the mince. So it's going to be, because it's only got a few ingredients, you, they all show out a bit more than if you had a, uh, a bigger dish with, invo involving many. So what we're going to do now is we're going to mix, just put that to one side, and we're going to mix this. This is our salad herbs. This is the pork. And we're going to mix some curry powder in here. And we need a tablespoon of curry powder. So that's it. Got some of the and then, I should have got this out before, sorry about that. So, a tablespoon of curry powder. Like that, wallop. Now, you could a bit more, wallop, there you are. This family likes curry. Now, I'm going to put some um, garlic powder in here, only because it, the, there's not much garlic in this particular curry powder. You don't have to put garlic, garlic powder in it, but it just gives it a bit of a... Um, uh, a garlic twang, which is nice when it cooks. Now we don't want to uh, put any salt in there because the mince has already cooked salt in it when it's when it's made made uh, uh, when it's processed. So don't put any more salt in it. We don't need to add, add any fat or anything like that. That is all we need to put in it. Or you could put some pepper in it, but you know can't be bothered. So let's go and mix this together. There's some pepper in the powder as well, and the curry powder, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's true. Chili. That's true. Chili pepper in there. It's all, you don't need to make it too complicated. You can add a little bit of this and a little bit of that. But you know, you know, I've got better things to do than than make this thing too complicated. It's supposed to be quick and easy, and uh, that's what we're going to do. So we're going to mix it all down together like this. You probably think, oh, that's a lot of curry powder you put in there. But it's funny because when you bake something with curry powder. It kind of loses its power, it loses its strength, so that's why I put a bit more in than, than I would normally uh, put in there. Now, I don't know, I've just noticed that. It's, but if you have the curry powder in a sauce or something, it kind of retains its strength. It's like weird, that. I don't know why. I'm sure there's some chefs out there who can tell me why, but I have no idea. So, there it is. Let's mix it a bit more. Okay, that's enough mixing. You don't need to do any more than that. So. We're going to get our mixture here, and we're going to, we're going to tear off a piece about this big. And we're going to roll it into a sausage, kind of fashion it into a sausage like this. See that's, that's going there like that. If you haven't done this before, it takes a little while to, to get to your, no, that. Right, you stick it in there like that, look. You stick it in there like that, and you get hold of this bit, and you fold it round like that just until it touches the other side there. You don't want it any more than that. Just so one, once round. Then we get um, a knife. Any old knife will do, but a sharp one. We're going to cut this along here. Don't, make sure you don't go down too deep because you're going to cut the pan and ruin the, 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 the coating on the pan. So, you do that. And then put that to one side, kind of like that. Now, you could fold these up here like this, a little bit. Now, the other side, you could put a little bit more mixture in there, I guess, but I can't be bothered. So, just nip these things together. You don't need egg in here, enough. you just nip it together with your fingers. 
like that. So that looks that looks quite homemade and rustic, doesn't it? And if you if you serve this up at a party, you say, look, these are my homemade uh, homemade sausage rolls. Nobody would disbelieve you because look at how rustic they look. <laughs> so another sausage. Now this is going to be a long sausage, so you're going to have to do it in two parts. I've never been able to do a long sausage. So, because the end keeps falling off. But keep rubbing it like that, your hands like that. And then uh, you just do two of them. So one is there, like that. Another sausage. Make another sausage. So just give it a little uh, rub there. And yeah, as I say, we've done, I've never done this before. It's going to take you a while to, I mean, you might be a natural, I don't know. But, okay, so that's about the kind of the thing you want there like that. Okay, so same thing again. You could put a little bit more on the end there, it's just fuss about the other end there. Anyway, there we are. Okay, so what, next same thing again. You get hold of the pastry all the way along like that. And you fold it over like that. Oh, I sounded like a TV presenter, though, didn't I? Okay, so again with a knife. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter which end you cut here, but if you don't press too hard, because you're going to go. If this is non-stick, you're going to go through the whole lot. So don't do it. Just, just give it a little bit of a downward pressure, just so you can cut the pastry. You don't need to do this with it. Okay, again. So just peel it back like that. All right. You don't want to handle this too roughly, but it's just roughly enough. Oh, I haven't cut that deep enough now, see? Being too careful. So. And it, but I just, didn't want, just want to let you know that this pastry, by the way, if you leave it out, when you use this, take it from the, directly from the fridge, because if you leave it out of the fridge to get room temperature, you'll never be able to, you'll never be able to handle it. It will be so soft, it will drive you crazy. So it's got to be at a fridge temperature, you know, 7 degrees, 7 degrees, 6 degrees centigrade, something like that, whatever that is in Fahrenheit. So, nip the edges together like that. Okay, so that's one, so we've got room for one more. So we're going to get one more out of this thing. Obviously if you want to more, make more uh, sausage rolls, you're going to need to buy more minced beef, more ingredients and more pastry. So this is the last bit. This would serve how many do you reckon? Oh, this would serve. Well, some probably just one. <laughs> but uh, anybody else, it is serve, you know, four people. At a party, something, six people maybe. Because nobody would be impolite as to take, you know, two or three pieces. Most people would just have one or two. Uh, when really they want more, but they are too polite to take any more. Anyway, this is, this is our last sausage. This is our last sausage. Look at that. So, actually, really, this uh, 400 grams of uh, of pork is quite uh, not so not so bad for this. Um, sorry, it's not a great deal for this size of pastry. So, I'm sort of uh, I'm not normally at this point where I can be. Um, normally, I, what I normally, in other words, what I normally end up with is is too much meat and no pastry. But this time, I'm all right. So. So this, this pastry is getting at room temperature now and it's getting a bit troublesome and you don't want troublesome pastry. Okay, so again, do your best to, you can't, you can't use the pastry if it's frozen solid, it's impossible because it'll just crack. So we're going to be... Yeah, you can see that it begins just even stick to the paper. Yeah, it? so it's sticking to the grease proof paper, which is um, going too soft. Right, so what we've got to do here, we've got to, before we can cut these, uh, portion these things out, we need to put it in the fridge to, to firm it up. So then we're going to do that in a minute. And um, we're going to come back once these are a bit firm, because I can't, I'm not going to be able to show, show it to you nice and neatly looking like that. So we're going to put these in the fridge for a couple of minutes and come back. We're back. Ten minutes has passed, and uh, in that ten minutes, these have been in the fridge, cooling down a bit because the pastry was getting a bit too too warm to handle it properly. And I put the oven preheated the oven to 240, 250 degrees centigrade, or whatever that is in uh, 
in Fahrenheit, 400 something. Right, we're going to cut these up a little bit, so bite-sized pieces. You don't want a huge great sausage roll. These are the bite-sized pieces here, so we're going to cut them up like this. And one of the things is, is it, if you just stick them in the fridge for a little bit, cutting them makes them easier to, to handle and, and it gives you a better kind of, um, edges are better, they, clean, they cut cleaner. So, we're just going to keep doing this for all of these. And I'll leave that one like that. Leave that one at the end there because it's got quite a lot of pastry in it. That's chef's one, isn't it? Chef's yeah, oh yeah, we always have chef's privilege. That's why I need, I need bigger trousers every year. Right. So, now you see I can't eat these because I'm gluten in, intolerant, so the pastry's made with, uh, with wheat. So sadly, boo-hoo, I can't have any. Is there any, um, do you know if there's a Ooh, you, puff pastry that's gluten-free? I've never seen any puff pastry that's gluten-free. But it doesn't mean it doesn't find, exist. Yeah, well, if you can find it. It doesn't mean it doesn't exist, but that's a good idea. I've seen a... If they use a gluten-free flour to make it or something. Yeah. yeah. They look really nice already. Well, if I find some, then I'll, I'll, um, yeah. I'll get some, but I have never seen any. Maybe you have to make your own with um, self-raising, with a gluten-free flour. flour. Yeah, but it's a palaver, and not even people like professional chefs uh, on TV make their own no. puff pastry. I've seen loads of programs. No, it's difficult to make. Uh, I've tried it uh, once, twice, and uh, it's just not worth the effort. It's not worth uh, the kerfuffle. It's a kerfuffle. Yeah, you get good uh, quality of pastry nowadays, don't you? Yeah. And already rolled. You yeah, don't buy cheap stuff, otherwise you can taste the fat they're using it in there. It's, this one is um this one's got butter in it. Um, and it comes ready rolled, so it's good. Come ready roll, just easy, just get it out of the fridge. As I say, don't just to reiterate, don't use it from room temperature because it'll you never be able to handle it properly. It's too uh, it's too um too troublesome. Right. So now we're gonna do we've got that now we're gonna do give it a little bit of glaze on the top. We need a one egg like that. And we're gonna just whisk it up a little bit. And put that to one side. So, each one of these is going to get a blob of egg. And what the egg does, it makes it look nice. It cooks the outside properly, and it doesn't make, leave the the pastry looking anemic. Uh, it, it's, it's nice and kind of nice colour to it. Adds a bit of flavour, I suppose. But most of it's for presentation. And, could you just put something on top like um, sesame seeds? Yeah, you could do this and you could sprinkle sesame seeds on top of it. Or you could put some, if you want to make them, uh, poppy seeds, yeah. Even better probably, so more taste there. Or you could sprinkle some paprika, red paprika on it to make it look, uh, look different. This is, uh, this is just basic, uh, the basic curry recipe. sausage rolls. This is a basic recipe. You not many ingredients. And cheap as well. Beef mince is cheap. Um, pork beef mince? Pork mince is cheap. The ingredients are cheap. You can make all this for, crikey, less than less than five dollars, or maybe five euros, five pounds for sure. And uh, a great yeah. party food, isn't it? Yeah, great party food. And nobody and nobody is going to be fooled that you've that, that these are this, these are short. But these these this message is: I'm good in the kitchen. I can make sausage rolls. They are and, delicious. Uh, they really are. They are. They, they 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 taste better than they look. Right, there we are. Now, they're going to go in the oven for 10 minutes. Why just 10? I keep saying 10 minutes every time because 10 minutes allows the on maximum heat to 40, 250 degrees. It allows you to have a look, to check. They may not need, they may need 12 minutes or they may need 13 minutes, but after 10 minutes, have a look and uh, you'll decide on how brown they look. Put it in the top of the oven. As I say, this is already preheated, it's important. So preheated is on maximum. Put it on top of the oven. And uh, we'll have a look, have a look in 10 minutes. And, uh, I just sort of looked through the glass door of the oven here. And it's, we, I took it out for 10 minutes, they weren't done, they weren't brown enough. So this is another four minutes, okay? So I've added four minutes, so total cooking time of 14 minutes. Now that might be different even for you, depending on how hot your oven gets. gets. This is an electric fan assisted one. You have a different one. 
uh, it may take less time or it may take more time. This is quite an old uh, cooker here. So uh, anyway, we're going to get them out now. Without further ado, that's my timer. And there we have it. Now, don't they look beauties? Can you smell that? Wafting, wafting. Now these, you've got to let them cool down. Now if you're going to pick one of those up and gobble it, you're going to burn your tongue. So... It's difficult to win though. It is difficult, I know. But unfortunately I can't, I'd love these. I absolutely adore them. But they don't adore me, see? Come these are, I'm going to have to donate these to a worthy cause, which is the, yep. the rest of the family. So, there they are. So these are my curried, curried sausage rolls. And uh, you see, it's so easy to make, they're cheap to make, and you can knock, how long have we been here doing this? I don't know, half an hour maybe? So you can do all this in half an hour. No sweat. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up, and subscribe if you want to. See you next time.